we're playing the melody line uh, from Guns N' Roses. Uh, just a quick lesson here on um, the fingering that's involved in playing this like Slash because it's a very easy pattern but there's a, a particular reason why Slash uses the fingering uh, pattern that he does. So uh, let's get into that uh, and just hopefully it will help you play this in a, in a kind of, I don't know, a slightly better way. So this is not the hardest bit in guitar history, let's be honest. I think you'll definitely be able to handle it. Um, the interesting part of it, I guess, is the fingering pattern that Slash uses and uh, the reason why. So here we go then, 14th fret, and you start with the third finger. All down picks. And then you reach up to that 16th fret there, so. And then the next one is played with the second finger. And the next one is a second finger again, across, and then you use the third finger. So it's not immediately obvious why. I think it's a very neat pattern actually, because you really want to try and use your third finger, which is, I suppose on paper, the strongest finger whenever you can. Um, and in this instance, it kind of prioritizes that when possible. Uh, the next bit's interesting, you bend with that third finger here, but then you jump up with the second finger to replace it. And then you bend away from yourself with this last one. And then similarly to uh, our previous lessons, you don't ever actually get to play this chord because your bending is getting in the way of that. What Slash sometimes does in a live situation is he goes... Which we've talked about in our um, previous videos. Uh, this time though, um, we'll just carry on. It, it essentially drops into this um, the C chord. But to do this, you need to turn off your distortion. So I'm just going to do that now. So you drop into this uh, C chord here. And then you do these up picks again. This open G. So fifth fret, open G. And then the uh, third and third. And then this is the next pattern. And then you drop down to this D shape. You can also hit the second note below that. If you so choose, you can also pick um, alternately. I'm going to stop there because that's just a little bit uh, of a complicated um, pattern there. So just make sure you get that right. We'll return to that later on uh, with the change up and as the solo progresses with the wire pedal, etc. A, a bit later on. Uh, that's just to get us to our uh, next chorus C pedal section, but we'll do that in the next part of the video. So do subscribe to make sure you don't miss the series as we carry on.